Tim here with another Blue Peter straight razor moment. Today we're going to show you how to make the simplest touch up tool for your razors. This is if you're going to be on the tightest of budgets this is going to cost you about five quid and it'll get those razors nice and sharp again. If it feels like they're pulling a bit this will sort them out. Okay first thing you're going to need is a piece of balsa. If you're going to hold it in your hand then you want it about half an inch thick at least. If you're going to stick it to a piece of wood or you've got a paddle strap to stick it to, you can have it a bit thinner. If you have it that thin, holding it in your hand, it's going to be very hard to handle. Next thing you're going to need, kitchen roll. A soft pencil. I would say at least a 3B or softer. Because when you're going to be making marks on the balsa, any harder and it's going to leave grooves. Chromium oxide paste or crayon. I'll stick a link to where I get mine down in the comments. And then simply 120 grit around a piece of sandpaper, wet and dry paper. That's going to be used to f for lapping your balsa. Okay, let's get making. Okay, one thing I forgot to say, get something flat to put your sandpaper on. I use a glass chopping board. Okay, next thing, choose the best side. There might be some small gashes or something in the corners. So choose the side that's the least damaged if it is. That's this side for me. Next with your pencil, very lightly cross hat the entire board. Make sure you don't press your pencil into the wood. Okay. And now the aim of the game now is just to sand these off completely. Use circles and use a very very even pressure to try and nicely flatten this piece of balsa. Meanwhile, the bone which resists take their trays spin around and they cross the floor. Okay, when they're all gone, just round the edges off a little bit. This will protect your razor from hitting any tiny bit, tiny rough edges. Make it nice and smooth. Okay. Next thing, just a tiny bit of wet, slightly damp kitchen roll or a rag. Clean it off, make sure all the dust is gone. Next thing we're just going to get our chromium oxide and lightly smear it over. Paper was a little bit too wet that I wiped it with, so it's not sticking too well, but it'll be fine. Don't press too hard. You don't want to cause dents in it. And with your dry kitchen roll, start working it in. You're going to try and end up with a nice, smooth, even surface. Don't apply too much to start with. If you need to apply more, you can.
Try and get all the way to the edges. Take your time. You don't want to dent it. You want a nice smooth green finish. Just want to fill the pores of the wood. When it feels like you're not moving the paste around much anymore, you'll be just about done. Twelve seconds later. Fairly happy with that. That's all it is. You might not want to use it straight away because it'll be a bit sticky. Unless you want to get a spare blade or one that's not in your current rotation. And give that a few give it a few laps until it starts to lose its stickiness before using it on on a razor that needs a tiny bit of a touch up. Or you can just leave it to maybe the next day. It should be nice and dry enough to use smoothly. You can use it straight away but it'll just be a bit awkward and a bit tricky. That's all but yeah simple tool and make those edges re-shine in no time.